Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be looking at the Winmore Sicario. It's a great looking design on these with the new cluster grip and if you don't know Sicario I think is Italian or Spanish for Hitman. It's a good film as well. So let's check them out. This is the 23 gram model, the 90% tungsten and the retail for £58.95. So you got a fancy cardboard pack, you got a little picture on the back with some details of the features and this little lift up flap reveals a big window showing you all the contents. And inside you've got a pull out form insert holding everything in place. You've got the prism force medium stems. You've got the little Winmore plastic and aluminium round point holder. And you've got a set of the Winmore prism alpha standard shape flights. As you can see, the data fit with the Winmore free flow points. So it's got the built in uh, trident cone. So you get a smooth transition there from point to the barrel. And it's kind of like a, a torpedo style shape, a very nice shape actually. And it's got two main sections of grip, which is this cluster grip. And then you've got the three sections where it's smooth, but that grip, um, it's kind of like little mini squared scallops, but there's some edginess from the edges and the slightly wider lateral gaps there. Um, quite a difficult one that like it may feel grippy when I come to throw it but uh, it's not aggressive but there is like I say a little bit of edginess there so maybe almost high medium but uh, that's probably as close as it'll get but some people might just want to grip the middle section and you got a good reference point there but that's a low level grip there. That's an um, interesting looking uh, grip design. It reminds me of something out of a sci-fi movie. <laughs> but very nice looking dart. And there's your prism force medium stems and the Winmore prism alpha standard shape flights. That's fitted with the black coated Winmore free floor points, which are 35mm but 30mm from the barrel to the point end. And the front of the barrel's got a smooth taper, and that's 6.2mm. Then you've got the first section of cluster grip, which is 12.2mm in the middle. It's a smooth band with a couple of thin rings and grooves, that's 6.8mm. Then another section of the cluster grip of 12.2mm. On the end of the barrel is a smooth section of 5.8mm. Length is 43.2mm, width is 7.85mm. That's 23.02 grams. 23 grams exactly. And 23 grams exactly. And full setup is 24.75 grams. With nothing attached, the balance is towards the front. And with the supplied setup, it moves a little behind the center point. And this is the balance with medium in between short island stems and standard flights. Like I said at the start, there's three sections where it's smooth, but the cluster grip itself is around about medium to high medium. So 6.5 overall, there is a slight edginess to it. So may depend on the individual how you feel the edges mm. 
obviously I'm gripping it on the front, but um, mostly on that cluster style grip. A little bit on the smooth part in the front. But um, getting a bit of a kind of a spiral reaction from it. I don't know if it's the setup with the stems and flights, but balance wise, it just feels a little bit off for me. I have a feeling it's probably going to be better balanced in the centre because of the shape. But the grip itself, that cluster grip, it's got quite an edgy feel to it. It's not aggressive, but you kind of feel like a little bit of stickiness in, in your f like fingerprint ridges. So certainly interesting but where i think it's going to be best balance is the middle but it's a smooth section there so yeah definitely nicely balanced in the middle but you're not getting the cluster grip on that part so <laughs> it does seem a little bit pointless but very nicely balanced on that middle part but it's kind of defeating the uh, object of the dart really when you're just on a smooth section and everything else has got the fancy grip oh, there you go that's the way it is so I'll try the rear section now. I'm getting a lot of spin from the rear. Feels a little bit better bounced from the rear than it did from the front though. But I'm not too sure for me as a front gripper. I may have to play with these a little bit longer to see. Just, I don't know. I don't know if it's the grip or the shape or what, but I'm just finding them a little bit difficult at the moment. Let's check out the ratings. It's quite an interesting looking dart. I like the contrast between the cluster grip and the black. So I'll give it that eight grip. It's a strange one. So I'll probably give that 6.5. Weight match, two were perfect. So nine. Quality overall was pretty good, but there was some slight bearing along the cl cluster grip edges. So eight. Value, it's fairly expensive. So 6.5. So that's the Winmore Sicario. Um, I don't think it's a dart for me as a front gripper, but obviously, like I said, it's better balanced around the center and it flies quite nice from there, but you're not getting any advantage of that cluster grip. And that grip has really got quite a nice feel to it. So it's uh, worth trying if you just want to try some kind of unique grip. So some front grippers might be very happy with it. And I think from the rear, it was a little bit better from the rear than it was from the front. So maybe fine for rear grippers as well. But uh, quite an interesting looking dart. 
and I do like the feel of that cluster grip so I wouldn't mind seeing it in some other darts of a different shape and that but uh, yeah not one for me I don't think but I'll give it a little bit more play time to be sure so that's the end of the review and stick around for the gallery and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and I'll see you on the next one happy darting